Hello and welcome to lesson number seven of this WordPress series. Now, in in the last uh, lesson, we have uh, uploaded the site from the local host to our Bluehost hosting. Now, today we will start small small tasks that were still remaining in the site, and we will complete those things. Now, first of all, a uh, header of the site was made, the menu was made, the home page is made. Only thing left in this page is this footer portion. As I told you, this bottom part of the site is called footer. Now, we have to actually change this footer according to the site. To change the footer, we have to go to the installation folder this is uh, the first project that is our folder in which we ha have our wordpress now we will click on wp content and from here we'll click on theme and this 2012 theme that is the theme that we are using op we will open this theme and because as i told you wordpress has different parts and each part is in a separate file for example, the header of the site is in, is in header.php. The footer of the site is in footer.php. So we will open this footer.php and we will change the text written in the footer of the site. So here we can see uh, something is already written. I think this is written already, probably powered by WordPress. So we will remove and here is the link to WordPress site. So instead of uh, showing the WordPress link, we will actually remove everything. This is the div site info starts from here, goes to here. If you if you want to check from where the div is starting and up to up till which point the div is going, we can right click and edit tag. It's not good. Now you can see it will tell me the div is starting from here and it is closing here. So we can see each and every tag from where it is starting and after what point it is going. So you can see anchor starts from here and it closes here. This is the feature that uh, is provided by this editor. The editor, the editor that I am using is uh, Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. So you can get the CD of the Adobe Dreamweaver and or you can download adobe dreamweaver from anywhere i use uh, cs4 because i am very com uh, comfortable with it and uh, it provides me everything that is required so no need to go for any advanced sort of uh, editor you can use a simple one simple ones are quicker and they respond well so it's always better to use simple editors for the site also it it actually shows you different tags in different colors for example an anchor is shown is in green the div is shown in in blue now the thing is we'll have to remove we'll have to replace this text so we will remove everything from uh, within this div and we will replace it with uh, our own text you can say this is copy this actually gives the icon of copyright this is the html replacement of that copyright icon uh, and i can say copyright first project and uh, that's it i will save it and i can check it So you can see the copyright icon came and uh, after that we have this text copyright first project and that's it the whole page is customized according to the custom requirements of the client i told you in previous lessons that uh, for services we can use a different structure for example if i click on services page the content is directly placed here and it is not the correct way of uh, placing the content for the services page so what we can do is now you can see previously it is placed like this 
now what we can do is we can uh, give the services in the forms in the form of posts this is another object available or facility available in wordpress that we can create posts now let us create post to create post we need to go to uh, posts and then from here add new we can give the post name as uh, for example we are going for service services so we can give services and then we can put in the text for services we need to get the text from the demo content site so i'm going to get that content from that site now okay this is the con demo content site i can copy some demo content uh, from here copy and paste it in this post and give it a category so to give a category we have to click on this add new category we will give it name service services and i will add that category now as i have added this category this checkbox already came with that that means this category is already selected and i can click on the format of the post is standard for now and we can click on publish now one post is created for service we can call it actually service one and during that uh, process we have actually created a category as well this services category now if we, if we want to see the categories of in our wordpress we can click on these categories and you can see this category is created now the purpose of creating the categories is that we can have different categories in our uh, uh, we have posts related to different categories in our website for example we have blog posts we can we have uh, we can have latest news we can have services so the blog post will be uh, included in blog category we can have uh, latest news so we will have that latest news category and the posts of latest news will be included in latest news category and same as uh, we are doing it with services now that we have made a services post and we have made it a part of services category and this is one post that is already available in wordpress so we will we can remove it now the post is removed now we have to create uh, many services it can be one two three four five based on the requirement of the user the easiest way to do is to it is to install a plugin uh, i'm going to add a new plugin the name i will search for the plugin mm, duplicate posts now it will give us different results of uh, duplicate uh, duplicate post plugin these are the plugins which which can be used to duplicate the posts and in that way we can actually quickly create the posts now as a part of this course i will tell you only the reliable plugins there are thousands and thousands of plugins available for wordpress and some plugins are very clean and easy to use and some plugins contain malwares and other viruses uh, that can infect your site so the selection of plugins is very important and i have a, a, a almost seven to eight years experience in wordpress so i actually use uh, the most reliable ones and um, i will actually as a part of the course i will tell you the reliable uh, plugins for each task another way of finding finding out if the plugin is reliable or not you can see this rating now the rating of this plugin is uh, is good these are five, there are five stars so it is approximately 4.5 or something five uh, 499 users have given their uh, feedback uh, about uh, this plugin and 400 uh, 4 million plus users have installed it so that means it's a it's a good plugin and millions of people are already using this plugin and by the experience i also know that yoast is a very wonderful seo plugin so seo means search engine optimization so search engine optimization is uh, the thing that 
actually optimizes our site for the search engines and uh, in search engines if someone searches for something the site if we are using the Yoast uh, SEO plugin so the site uh, is actually is brought to the top uh, level results so by the experience I know that Yoast uh, is a good company they, which uh, is making different plugins so I can simply rely on this uh, plugin and I will click on install now plugin is installed now I will click on activate the plugin is activated and it is showing in installed plugins page now now to create duplicate posts I can click on posts and after installing this plugin I, I will get these additional options so you can click on uh, rewrite and republish clone new draft so I can right click and open new tab for the new draft now it will open it will create a duplicate of the post and open it in a new tab I can change the name of the service I can change the link of the service and I can change the content of the service the category is already selected so most of the things it has done already it has given the, the content of the previous posts post and it has given the category automatically so I'll click on publish now this is the duplicate of this this post I will create another duplicate I will create another duplicate I will create another duplicate so that will be three link will be three no need to give any content right now category is already already selected as services and publish four four okay here are five duplicate posts are created duplicate posts are basically we create uh, during the development process where we want to test it in the real environment these posts will be replaced by proper service names and their descriptions but for now for testing purpose we can uh, quickly make these duplicate posts in the same way I will create duplicate posts for uh, the blogs and for the uh, for the uh, news and events so I am doing it right now now as you can see I have uh, created uh, five posts for news and events category five posts for blogs category and five posts for services category so in short I have three categories if I want to see the categories I can click on these post categories and I can see I have three categories blog news and events and services category here I can see services category contains five posts uh, news and events contains five posts and blog category contains five posts another category that is that comes by default with uh, wordpress is called uncategorized category now if you make a post and forget to give any category to that post that post automatically comes to uncategorized category and uh, later on you can actually see those posts which are part of uncategorized category and give them ap appropriate categories okay this will be the end of uh, this lesson if you like the content please click on uh, like button please subscribe to my channel uh, so that you can get uh, the latest lessons that i am making for wordpress thank you so much bye